Welcome back aliens, my name is Ivan Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now till this point we have talked about functions right and then we have done so many stuff till now. We know how to add numbers, we know how to find factorial. But think about this, when you work on a project of course you will be solving a real life problem right and that may be a complex project. Now when you say a complex project it should be simple for the users right you should not build a complex project for a user but then for a programmer any every project is a complex project because you'll be writing a lot of code right maybe thousand lines of code now this is where the problem starts you know see we have a concept of debugging now when you say debug it simply means removing bugs right what about coding then? If debugging is removing bugs, then coding is actually adding bugs, right? So every time you code, you add new bugs. Now, even if you don't do it intentionally, it happens, you know, because we are trying to solve a problem and around that, you will be writing some code which will increase bugs. Okay, now how do you manage this stuff, right? Because if you increase bugs, of course, at some point, you need to read your own code. You need to understand how to remove those bugs and your software should be maintainable. When I wrote this code, only God and I understood what I did and now only God knows, right? So it's, it happens, you know, when you write a code, after some time even you will not understand what you have written because when you have thousand lines of code, it's difficult to track. The second problem is if you write everything on the same page or if everything at the same place, it is difficult to manage it and it, if you change one point, it may affect other code as well. And that's well, what you will do is, if you want to solve this problem, we will be using a concept of modules. So instead of writing one big software in one file, you will break it down into small, small parts, right? Example, let's say if you have A, B, C, D as a software, you want to build a software in which you have these four features, and that's a one project, right? It's a combined project. So what you will do is, before even before starting the actual project, what you will do is you will break it down, the components on paper. So you will write, hey, we have A, B, C, D, now we have to break it down in logical parts, right? Of course, you cannot simply break down software. You have to think about it. You have to break it down in logical parts, right? So all the same features should belong to the same module. So you will say, okay, we have A, B, C, D. Well, A and C can be one module and B and D can be one module. Okay, so that's what we have done. And then further you realize, okay, we can actually also break it down A and C. So you have saying A module, C module, B module, and D module. So we are breaking things down. The advantage is you will be building four different modules, right? The first advantage would be if you want to change something in A, it, should, it will not affect other modules, right? Because they are separate now. It may if you are doing some tight coupling stuff there, but normally it doesn't affect. So when you write a code, if you change something in A, it will not affect other modules or it, it may not affect other modules. Uh, the next thing is you can also reuse your modules. Example, let's say after this project, you are building a new project with the, some similar features. Example, now this time you are building maybe GADP. So we have this other project. Now here, you can actually use A and D module because you have already built it, right? So that's the advantage of using modules. Now, can we do that in a project? In fact, we'll not be building a complex project here. Let's do it simply. But then if we talk about a module, what it will have? So in Python, we have this concept of variables, we have functions, we have classes, right? Again, we'll be talking about classes later, but we have that concept. So in one module, you can have all the different stuff, right? So we can have variables, we can have functions, and we can have a class. Or you can imagine at this point, your one module will be one file. So the way we are doing a file here, we have demo.py. This is your one module, right? We can create another file as a separate module. Let me show you something. So let's say this is my main file, right? And here I want to add two numbers. So what normally we do is we simply say a is equal to 9 and you say b is equal to 7 and here you will add those two values right maybe you want to perform all the operations right addition subtraction deletion multiplication so you can do that here itself or you can create functions and now we know how to create functions right so we can do that here but we can create modules right so you can create those four functions here in the same module or you can create a separate module which will have all these functions and that makes more sense right having a separate module so let's do that so what i will do is to create a separate module i will create a new file so i will say new and let's go to python file we'll name this as a calc because this calc will have all the functions which you need so this is a separate module for you and let's define the function so i will set def and the function name would be add which takes two parameters which is a and b in this case and we'll simply return a plus b that's our first function likewise we can create four functions let me do it quickly so you can see now we have this module which is cal which has four functions right we can see that here now i want to use this function in another module which is demo how can i use that 
So because if I simply type add, it will not work, right? You cannot simply call add it. Of course, it will not work directly. So even if I pass a comma b by saying c equal to add a comma b, it will not work because it is in separate module. So we have used some inbuilt modules till this point, right? So if you remember, we have worked with import, right? So we used to say import something. And then we have also used from a module import specific functions or the classes. We have done that, right? But we have done that for the inbuilt modules. How about our own module? Because calc is my own module now. So what I will do is, if you want to use calc, we need to import it. And the way you do that is by saying import calc. The job is done. You're saying import calc. And whenever you want to use it, you will simply say calc.add. So there's one way, right? You can use a module name and then say .add. Or if you don't want to say calc every time, because of course, if you want to add, if you want to subtract, you will be using calc.subtract, calc.multiply multiple times. Instead of that, you can say from calc, import whatever you want to import. I can say import add. So in the one line, you can say add. In the next line, you can say import sub, import multi, or you can say import start, right? It will import all the functions for you. And now you don't need to call calc. It will simply say add, it will work right it's a beauty right so this is how you break down your project into small small parts and of course it doesn't make sense to have a separate module for separate functions right so all your logical functions should work together in one module not just function classes variables whatever you want right and now once we got this you can print the value of c and it perfectly works let's run this okay so you can see we got the output which is 16 1 and 6 so that's what we wanted right 9 plus 7 is 16. we can also do that for subtraction Everything will work here and you can see we got two so that's how you use modules you can create multiple modules not just one or two you can create 10 different files as a different modules and you can import them the way you want right in fact in Python itself we have different modules available so that's it from this video I hope you enjoyed this video because in this video we have talked about modules which is very important for your project so do click on the like button there and do subscribe for other videos thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye